Hello guys, and today we are here with a chill season 2023 review. So I thought we would go over all of the weapons and stuff and look at the stages. So uh, yeah, Dapple Duelies aren't new, but uh, we're gonna look at the new stuff now. So the first new weapon we wanna look at today is the Neo Splatana Stamper. So this weapon's pretty cool, basically the Splatana Stamper, but with uh, Toxic Mist and Crab Tank. Personally, this is probably like one of my top favorite new kits. I actually didn't really like, I don't like Zipcast that much to be quite honest. Like, I always end up dying with it because I try to get too aggressive. So yeah, I prefer this more like laid back kit for the uh, Splatana Stamper. And I also like Toxic Mist because you can slow people down with it and try to get better uh, charge slash like aiming. But yeah, so let's go check out the next weapon. All right, so here we have the S Blast 91. This is probably my favorite new kit. I really like this new kit because you can combo with it. It combos extremely well. It's like grim range from two, basically. It's like exceptional. And then you have Booyah Bomb, which is just all around great. Like this kit's just perfect. It could have had a better special that worked better with Blaster, but Booyah Bomb is definitely better than like Ink Vac or, uh, well it already had Reef Slider, but you never know, they might give it Reef Slider again just to seal it in its coffee even more. But yeah, uh, let's talk about the next weapon. So the next weapon on our list is the Foil Squeezer. Uh, this weapon has the new special, so basically, let me uh, clean this up real quick. So basically what the new special is, it's like a basically a smoke bomb but not it's like a splatoon version of a smoke bomb or flashbang so basically what it does is you throw it and like it summons this big wall thing and like it hits stuff and like turns your like vision to like a monochrome like thing sadly you can't walk through your own to get the effect for yourself but like basically it just messes up your vision and makes it harder to play, which honestly is pretty game-changing and pretty cool, if you ask me. This is a pretty cool new special. I like it a lot. Um, and we'll check out the next kit. Oh, I forgot to mention it has Auto Bomb, which isn't really much to talk about compared to Splash Wall. So yeah, on to the next weapon. All right, so here we have the Custom Blaster. Uh, the Custom Blaster is not much better than the Vanilla Kit, in my opinion. Literally is point sensor just just useless. It just tracks enemies and that's just stupid. But um, it has triple splashdown, which is really cool. And it's just so deadly. Like, it kills instantly. It's pretty hard to cancel. It's definitely like a really good new special, and it just throws a reef slider into its coffin even more, being the worst special in the game. So let's go talk about the next weapon. Alright, so here we have the Imperi Duelies, uh, basically better Duelies, um, doesn't have the stupid suction bomb that takes 10,000 years to explode and uses like half your ink, instead you have a nice curling bomb that combos extremely well because you can travel with it pretty far into enemy territory and you can dodge a lot of the ink and kill them. Honestly, it's a great combination, and then I think triple splashdown is even better because since this is kind of like a like uh, gets its hands dirty type of weapon, like it's getting in and fighting, uh, triple splashdown really works well with it because you're immediately going to be splashdowning on people that you're near. So, like, say uh, real quick, let me um, clean up the map. Uh, basically, what you do is you can throw a curling bomb swim behind it, and then splash down and, and kill them all. So yeah, pretty good weapon if you ask me. So let's go check out the next weapon. All right, so here we have the um, Sorella Undercover Bella. Uh, basically makes Undercover finally usable, and not makes me wanna kill myself when I see this thing, like, as a teammate. Like, I literally wanna just jump off the game, like the edge of the cliff every uh, time I see one in-game. In 
Like I just, I just hate this uh, the vanilla kit so much. But this new kit is so much better because you have torpedo, which combos really well. Basically, if you get hit by a torpedo and then you shoot, it's a basically one shot for it. And you have the new special, which is pretty cool for having a shield. It kind of like is like a double shield, basically, so you can be like shooting and like pop in and out and like go like that and stuff. It's pretty cool. Personally, I really like this kit, and I think it uh, gave Undercover an extreme uh, glow up. So let's talk to, about the next weapon. All right, so here we have the um, Snipe Rider, the new one. I don't know, I guess Snipe Rider Nouveau. Uh, let's check the name real fast. Uh, Snipe Rider 5B. I don't like Snipe Rider at all. I think it's a disgrace to Chargers. It just is terrible. Can't one shot. Uh, it's just really bad. And you have to like directly hit two shots. I, I just hate it. I'd much rather play like any other Charger in the game other than Bamboozler. Like I literally think the like, Bamboozler might be better. Like I hate this Charger so much. But basically you get Wall and Rain. Uh, wall is really good for Charger. But rain, I guess it's good for zone, so like other than that, it's just kind of stupid. So yeah, I don't like this weapon, so let's go to the next one. So here we have a uh, Painbrush Nouveau. Uh, personally, I don't like Painbrush. I'd rather play Octobrush. Uh, I don't like the startup animation like that happens in the fact you have to start up before you can roll with the brush is really annoying. And then they gave it point sensor, which is just stupid. Like curling bombs way better. And you have missiles, you can just be an annoying little guy that shoots missiles everywhere, which is just annoying and stupid. So yeah, uh, this kit's pretty trash in my opinion, and I'd rather use uh, the vanilla paintbrush. But it's alright, I guess, if you want to change your pace, if you're, uh, you know, good with the vanilla kit or something. So let's go to the next weapon. Alright, so the final weapon on the list is the Reflux Deco. Uh, this is... The worst weapon in the entire game by far. It has the worst kit ever. It has splash ball and reef slider. Just please, please use the vanilla kit, not this. Like, I'm telling you, do not use this weapon. It is just awful. Like, I'm only using it for science right now, but like, do not use this weapon in an actual battle. It's just so terrible really terrible I would rather use the vanilla kit or just or just use tri stringer like this this weapon is just terrible and I don't like it so basically that's it for these new weapons uh, pretty cool additions to the game so let's um, swap over to a brush so we can uh, walk around the map easier and uh, but first let's check out the catalog and talk about that so basically the uh, catalog added some new items so basically we got some new clothes there, new emotes, um, new clothes, basically just new clothes and locker items. And then we have that thing that I don't know why is repeated, just as quick super jump, but like there's no difference from the other one. Uh, new clothes there. Yeah, pretty basic, uh, pretty cool Christmas sweater. Uh, repeat stuff basically now from basically from here on out it's all repeats except for some of the locker items I kind of like that cushion that might be a cool locker item and also that like graffiti like snake thing uh, then there's the new banner that has like a pretzel on it but yeah that's basically it DJ uh, snow DJ Octavio snow globe looks pretty cool and then you get a really stupid emote but like other than that uh, it's pretty cool uh, so let's go check out the maps now. Uh, first map we're probably going to check out is uh, Robo Ramen, so we'll go check that out. Alright, so here we are in Robo Ramen. This is like an uh, extreme step up in the Splatoon stage design. Well, Splatoon 3 stage design that is, because it has two levels of stage. I really like this stage a lot. It's a huge improvement from what we've been getting for stages. Though the newly added stages have been a lot better, but this one just is so good in my opinion. I really like it. Uh, the, basically, the main reason I like it is because there's this like underpath here, and there's just so many different ways to attack your enemy. Like you can come around from under them and stuff. It's just a really good map overall, and I just really like it. It's just really cool and really fun to play on. Uh, the stage doesn't change much, unlike Bluefin, for um, modes. 
yeah, it's pretty cool, and I really like it. So uh, let's go to the uh, Bluefin Depot now, since this stage isn't really much more to talk about. Alright, so here we are on Bluefin Depot. Uh, it's a pretty good stage. Uh, you have these, like, lifts that um, take you up. Basically, yeah, I basically just defined a lift, but whatever. Uh, then you have uh, this glass thing that in the original game I'm pretty sure was a, um, like a ramp down to the main floor. But for some reason they got rid of that. Probably the uh, um, brutal simplifications they like to do. You also have this inkable block here that allows you to get into the um, base from a different way. Then also you have uh, this thing here for some cover. You have some more cover here. Then you have another lift on the enemy side. Um, basically, you have the same exact uh, spawn area. Block here. Um, another lift here, just like the other side. Basically, where this stage comes in the best is when you're talking about the modes, which has some pretty interesting designs, such as the spot, zone, spot zones configuration. So, uh, let's go check those out real quick. Alright, so here we are on the uh, bluefin zones. So basically what this does is, it doesn't look that special for now, right? But you might be wondering, hmm, why is there ropes here? Well, for that question, when you ink the zone fully, the uh, zone should move. Yep, the zone will move around, which is pretty cool depending on who painted it. So if the enemy then comes and paints the zone, it'll move back over there, and the... Um, like block thing will shrink down and the block thing will raise up over here and the zone will go over there it's pretty cool and I really like that and I think it's like a huge step up for changing the uh, design of stages and stuff for different modes I think it's a really awesome idea and they should honestly keep this up for future stages uh, let's look at the tower control one because that's pretty cool too Alright, so here we are on Bluefin Tower Control. Uh, let's go talk about that tower real quick. So for some reason the tower is like extra long. And it makes it a lot harder to get up the tower. Which is really strange that they did that. But it's pretty cool. Uh, the tower basically functions like the regular tower. But it's just taller for some reason. I'm guessing so, it's so you can go up to these areas. But I just think it's really weird how it's like bigger than the other towers. The tower in every other mode is like the exact same thing, but this one they just kind of like elongated it. So that's basically all I want to say about uh, this uh, update here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, maybe I'm going to do some uh, streams of playing this uh, like just the game in general soon. Instead of just only for Splatfest and Big Run. Oh, also, so they added a new King Salmonid. So if you want to see that, check out the um, Big Run live stream that I did. Uh, you can see the King Salmonid somewhere in that. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this uh, video. Uh, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, share this with somebody that does not know anything about the new Splatoon season so they can get themselves educated on the... Uh, new stuff that's in the game and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye